Hey guys, what is up? Friendly neighborhood Moose here, and I have another IL. This time it's Hell Breaks Loose, uh, and as you can see, levels already started. So this is pretty much the hardest level to do fast in all of Rayman Legends, uh, and it'll be very apparent why when we get into the actual level. Um, to preface this, <laughs> you're gonna have to practice this a lot. <laughs> Uh, and that's, you're gonna have to practice a lot just to get decent run-throughs of the level, so, um, let's just get into it a bit. So here, I wall jump about here, it doesn't really matter, as long as you get on this wall and jump before about that line, uh, it's fine. And you'll see, you kick that guy, you just do some hovering, so you'll see I'm using A, the jump button, obviously, um, to just hover on the way down to, you know, descend a bit slower, because <laughs> if I were going full speed, there's absolutely no way through this bit right here. Um, you'd either hit this, this, or that. And if you don't hit any of those, you're going to hit these. So there's no way through without slowing your fall. Um, I do it a bit. I accidentally land on that guy's head. Uh, if you can actually boost off this slope if you hit like right there-ish. Uh, it's kind of random, but regardless, that doesn't save much time at all. So this is where Murphy comes in, and the important thing to note is that you really need to, if you're using a controller, you need to use the claw grip really badly, <laughs> otherwise there's no way that you can do everything that you need to be doing later in this level. So here we go, this is where it gets started. Um, first off, I would just like to point out, right about here, you can sometimes get randomly crushed, and that puts you back a little bit behind here. Uh, it's not the end of the world, but it really sucks when it happens, and I still haven't figured out what causes it. Fortunately, that didn't happen here, though. So, go over. There's going to be this first saw blade. You can trigger it from about where I am uh, with Murphy. So you just want to hover and trigger, hover and trigger, and then you can just fall down. There, this is the first checkpoint. Um, so once you get here, mistakes abound. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you will make a lot of mistakes, probably. At least I do. Maybe I'm just bad. But, so, okay, this rope causes some serious grief. So you cut this rope, right? And this still exists for quite a bit. Fortunately, you can cut it from back here, meaning it'll disappear by the time you get to it, which you'll see there. However, sometimes... Get out of the out of the way, dragon. Sometimes you can grab onto an invisible rope here, and then it'll disappear before you can jump off, and you'll just die to this spike. Um... <laughs> There's nothing you can do about that if it happens. Uh, the only way to prevent it is to go super fast and basically mash Y once you make it to the bottom. Okay, here. You pretty much just want to start memorizing where the saw blades are at this point. Um, we have one on the right, we have one on the left, we have a wall of spikes. Then we have some other spikes down here, and then we go down a bit. Right there, more spikes, and then we have one saw right here, one right there, and one right there. So with the saw blades, you pretty much every single time want to hit A and Y pretty much simultaneously for about, I guess, not even half a second. Uh, just briefly bo hit both of them. The hover should slow you down just enough so you don't get hit. Uh, you don't hit the saw blade before it gets moved out of the way. And uh, it's pretty safe. So then here, another corner boost you can do. You can hit this. And Murphy can hit this block from about up here where the cage is, a little bit higher than where the cage is, and uh, <clears throat> that's what you really want to do, but it, it doesn't really matter, as long as you're somewhat fast, you won't die to that dragon. So this spot, you just kick, etc. You pretty much do the same thing in all of these, you just jump on the left and then go through. So this is, <laughs> this spot's a nightmare. Um, let me go back a, just a smidge. So this spot is an absolute nightmare, if you fall straight, uh, you hit this saw. If you fall left, you hit this saw. If you fall right, you hit that saw. So you have to fall straight, then left, and then you have to come back right, because if you go to the left, you'll die to these spikes. I like grabbing onto this, like sliding on it, because you can't make it down without cutting this rope. Might as well ride this down a bit. So ride it down a bit, break off of it, fall straight as you can, uh, and then this is the final saw blade that you, that's the final interaction. And then here you just memorize the saw pattern, and you're set! And that's pretty much Hell Breaks Loose, everybody's done the rest of this bit. I mean, obviously I died here, which is why I'm cutting the video short. Um, but, as you can see, you can boost with slopes and bit to make it a bit faster, and then you can just, like, ground pound onto these. Um, 
but there's not much optimizing left to go. The hard part's over, and that's what matters. So I just wanted to put out this video, because first off, I haven't put out a video in a while. Uh, and secondly, I'm starting to run this game a lot, and I thought I might as well help some other people, you know, get into the game with the hardest level, in my opinion. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. hope this video helped. Let's see this dragon die. Aw, poor guy. Oh well. <laughs> Once again, thanks for watching.